Well guys, it seems that your suspicions were right because the former writer of Sesame Street has just confirmed that Bert and Ernie are a gay couple. And honestly, it all makes sense now. I can just see the memes. So many memes. Welcome back to Inform Overload where we tell you about everything cool and awesome and controversial on the internet. If that sounds like something you'd be down to subscribe to, you know what to do. I'm Charlotte Dobre and I'm the main host on this channel and you get to see my take on the news Tuesday to Saturday every week. You should also follow the IO team on Instagram. The links to our social media are posted in the description of this video. Before I get into this story, tell me in the comments below what your favorite children's show is or was. Sesame Street is an iconic children's show that an entire generation of people grew up loving and it's still on the air today. Sesame Street first aired back in 1969 and Bert and Ernie's dynamic quickly became a favorite part of the show. Bert and Ernie are roommates who sleep in separate beds at 123 Sesame Street. They would bicker in a way that a married couple would and people loved it. Their relationship seemed mostly innocent like best friends or frenemies, but there was always this bit of suspicion around their relationship and whether or not there was a little bit more to the story. There were always rumors among fans of the show that Bert and Ernie could be a gay couple. In fact, Bert and Ernie have become gay icons in the queer community. Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. Well, a former writer for Sesame Street, Mark Saltzman, has just revealed that the rumors are true. In an interview with Queer Tea, Saltzman said that when he was brought on board in 1984, he always wrote Bert and Ernie as if they were lovers. He said he didn't have any other way to contextualize them. Saltzman also said that Bert and Ernie's relationship was based on his real life relationship with film editor Arnold Glassman. After same sex marriage was legalized in New York, fans of Sesame Street even started a petition to request a wedding episode between Bert and Ernie. But it seems that the people behind Sesame Street are not exactly down to jump on board with the gay couple narrative. In fact, some have called their response to the announcement homophobic. In response to the petition, Sesame Street released a statement about Bert and Ernie where they said they were best friends who were created to teach preschoolers that people can be good friends with those who are very different from themselves. And in response to the announcement, the Sesame Workshop also said on Twitter, even though they are identified as male characters and possess many human traits and characteristics, they remain puppets and do not have a sexual orientation. I'm sorry, what? That sounds like a cop out to me. What about Miss Piggy and Kermit? They clearly have a sexual orientation. Kermit and Piggy are clearly heterosexual. I'm triggered, like I'm so triggered right now. Yes, I know Miss Piggy is part of the Muppets, but it backs up the puppet argument. Sesame Street says that puppets can't have a sexual orientation, but clearly puppets can have a sexual orientation, and there have been several puppets on Sesame Street with a sexual orientation, and honestly, I'm just <sighs> Hell, I made my Barbies have a sexual orientation and they loved it. At least I think they loved it. They didn't really have a choice. Not important. There are plenty of children's shows and movies that are getting with the times. Disney's rumored to be making Elsa and Frozen 2 a lesbian. They also showcase their first openly gay character, LeFou, with live action Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, Disney got backlash from parents who didn't want their kids to see a gay couple in a children's film. Ooh, gay people are so scary. But it, like, it was before they even saw the movie. LeFou's crush on Gaston was honestly, it was like, it wasn't even a big deal. It was like, it was more funny than anything else. Definitely not offensive. It was like a cute little, like, little crush. And it's not like Bert and Ernie are going to appear on Sesame Street, you know, like in a bed together doing the nasty. It's still a children's show. Maybe I spoke too soon. I don't know. <laughs> so most of social media has been pretty supportive of the announcement about Bert and Ernie being a gay couple. Obviously there are some people against it. Even the creators of the show are against the idea of Bert and Ernie being gay, but I mean like, what can you do? Some people just aren't ready to accept homosexuality and you can't force it upon them. But creating characters that are representative of real people in society is very important. Children from a young age need to know that there are many types of people. Gay, straight, black, white, and it's like, totally normal to be different. The importance of understanding equality and acceptance is something that should be taught at a young age. Then again, there's also the argument where is it up to a children's show to teach kids these things or is it up to their parents to teach them at home? What I do find interesting, just, well, little tidbit here about all of this is that recently Sesame Street debuted its first autistic character, Julia, to teach kids about autism and why it's okay to be different. It's important for the creators of Sesame Street to talk about autism, obviously, because it's important, but not as important as sexual orientation. Hmm. Seems a little hypocritical to me, but hey, that's just uh, my opinion. I'm sure you guys will also have a lot of opinions on this. I've stated all the facts and arguments for you, so why don't you tell me what you think of this story in the comments down below. For now, it is comment time. Comment dance. Potato Cat said, I just realized that I'm literally a potato cat and in Egypt cats were worshipped. So I'm technically a form of royalty, which means that there's a chance that I'm related to the potato queen. <gasps> My long lost sister. Hugs, e-hugs. 
I'm, I'm hugging you right now. Sakura Nico said, I love you Charlotte, you make me actually want to listen to the news and keep me updated. It's important to stay up to date with current events guys and I love that I'm the one that has the privilege of doing that for you. Kid Gaming 123 said, if I don't get featured I'll jump off my roof into my neighbor's pool. Please feature, my neighbor hates me. <laughs> Alright, here's your feature but I still think you should jump into your neighbor's pool. Just saying. Jibril Tablet said, just so y'all know, I started this potato joke a long time ago. Go far back and you'll see very little potato comments. The potato joke is so old, I feel like it's from back when Jared was a host. If I remember correctly, it was because he called you guys potatoes and then I threw a potato at his face and here we are three years later. <laughs> the Dark Reaper said, I've just subbed and it's binge watching time. Woohoo! All the yes. If you want to go on an IO binge, there's a playlist clickable on the screen right now. And if you enjoyed your time here, smash the like, subscribe, and notification bell, and I will see you in a future IO video.